Senator Hassan. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair and Ranking Member Cassidy for this hearing. Thanks to our witnesses for being here today. This is obviously a critical issue for um, all of us, for our constituents, for our families, and most importantly, for our kids. Um, so to Ms. Hogan, I wanted to start with a question to you. Unfortunately, many young children missed out on formative years of learning and socializing with peers due to the pandemic. A recent survey by the American Speech Language Hearing Association found that a large majority of speech language pathologists are reporting more young children who have delayed language or diagnosed language disorders and behavioral difficulties. Some of those students may require professional early intervention services, but parents and early childhood educators have an important role to play here as well. So Ms. Hogan, what steps can we take to ensure that child care staff receive the training necessary to support the healthy development of young children and their learning recovery? Thank you so much for the question. And it's true, we, we also are hearing that from early childhood educators every day that they're seeing a lot of challenges that kids are bringing to bear and making sure, again, we've talked about how difficult it is for families to access childcare. This is particularly true for families who have children with disabilities and families who need non-traditional hours. So really making sure that educators, it speaks to this question of the complexity in early learning right. and making sure that early childhood educators have access to gaining those skills and competencies they need. And we've seen, again, states really go out of their way to make those investments in apprenticeships and scholarships and access to training and professional development that really supports early childhood educators and understanding across all settings how to support kids and their families. Well, thanks. I really appreciate that uh, because it is true when you have a child who needs uh, either a different approach or a more you know, complex understanding of development, uh, it's really important for early childhood educators to get those supports and that training. Um, Secretary Groginski, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, along with Senator Young, I've introduced the Bipartisan After Hours Child Care Act, which would expand access to child care for Americans who work non-traditional hours, that third shift sometimes that second shift, right? Lack of access to childcare during these non-traditional hours hits families in rural areas especially hard. And I know um, Senator Smith touched on this in a, in a question, but Secretary, how are you increasing access to childcare in rural areas and for families with non-traditional work schedules in your state? Um, the ways that we're doing it is really through all of these three mechanisms, making sure that we're paying for the true cost of care, yeah. expanding eligibility for families up to that 400% of poverty, and really investing in the workforce. We know that our child care programs need to stay open longer, and especially in our rural communities. We've seen children die because their families did not have access to child care, and they had to leave their baby or their toddler with somebody so they could go to work in one of those evening jobs. Yeah. So investing in child care is about improving child well-being overall. So all three of the things that we're doing in New Mexico are making a difference. Well, thank you for your work, and thank you, Mr. Chair. That's all I have.